Hey guys, you watching? You want to know? My name is AJ, and we are back on another episode of Let's Build Springfield. We've built the Simpsons house. We've built the Flanders house. We've built the Browns house. We've built the Quickie Mart interior and exterior. Apu is still in there. Today is Mo's bars. Now, unfortunately, I, I don't have a Mo skin yet. <laughs> I'll have to have a look to see if I can find one that looks remotely like Mo in Minecraft. Uh, but I think this block here, we're going to use white stained clay as it's the sort of closest colour to cream. A lot of these buildings seem to be this colour, like Simpsons House and the Quickie Mart seems to be this sort of shade. And Mo's Bar is built straight like onto the road, onto the path, you know what I mean? There's no no um, drive, if you like, up to it. And I do know uh, that there's a place called King Toots that is next to it. I think this is where the door's going to be, just placing the door down first. Yeah, door be in there. Nice big door. Um, but yeah, King Toots is like always next to it. It's just like the, the building that no matter what episode it's in, uh, those two buildings do go next to each other. If you don't know what King Toots is, uh, from what I can remember, uh, King Toots is actually the saxophone shop that Lisa gets her reeds from. And I think even her saxophone from. So that's going to go next to it eventually when we do that. I think that's a pretty good width for Moe's Bar. But, similar to the Quickie Mart, we are going to have a problem with the sign, with the Moe's sign. Because, how I explained last episode, I explained how micro blocks work. They don't work the way that you usually would think they work. You can't just place them anywhere. You can only put them in certain points. They give you a lot more customizability, but they don't make everything super super easy so what we're gonna do instead is we're just gonna put the um, the purple bit that Mose has over the top but we can't actually put Mose written on it it's Minecraft we're still limited even with these mods we are still limited we just have to live with what we can do and not concentrate on what we can't do however let's get some pur some purple apparently is how you spell it some purple <laughs> and uh, Moe's actually has like uh, this sort of purple pattern above the top now the uh, the vertical and horizontal ones are gonna be no problem to do let's grab another one of those because we can just simply is that a good size I think that's a good size probably that feels like a good size for it but the diagonal ones they're gonna be a little bit more tricky to do is that a nice size? Yeah, that's a good size. I like that. It's a nice purple as well for it. And uh, I do have some sort of idea on how we can do the diagonal bits. It's just going to be putting the purple blocks where these white ones are. You'll, you'll see what I mean. I think that's the only way that we can really do it. Uh, we don't really have much of a choice. And that's come above here. Now, do we need to go one higher? I've got reference pictures of Moe's bar beside me uh, on my other monitor. So, I can sort of see what I'm building, or where to head with it. Okay, I want to raise this up. Oops, not there. Nope, I said not there. By half a block. Okay, so then these can go along the bottom here, like that. The same on this side. Ah, 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 ah. And then they don't go up this bit, surprisingly enough, but they do go along the top. They don't even go around the side. This pattern doesn't go around the side. This top layer seems to. like go, It goes around and wraps around the side. But the bottom one and the diagonal bits don't. I've never noticed that before. Okay, so I'll put those on here. Also, people said that the Flanders house is usually on that side of the Simpsons house. That's wrong. That's completely wrong. I don't know what, what episode you were thinking. It's always on that side of the, of the house. It's always on the side that the Simpsons garage isn't, if you like. Um, I don't know what what episode you've been watching to to think otherwise. <laughs> it just worried me a little bit for a second. Okay, I think what we're going to do to make this look centered, we're going to grab one of these, chop it down again, so it's a little bit thinner, and then we'll place one there and one there. Oh, look at that for some detail. Okay, and then it also goes here, and I'm going to put one there. Now that gives us one, 
two blocks. I think that's the place that I had it. Nope. Like that. And like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But now it's the diagonal ones that join them up. And this is the part, the only option that I can think of on how to do it is by doing this. Now, it actually doesn't look that bad. Now I've put it on there. I was really concerned if it would look good. But it's our only option. We can't make diagonal blocks in Minecraft. Uh, that's actually not so bad. That's turned out a lot better than I thought. Okay, let's grab this saw again. And we're going to cut down these even more. So they're really thin. I don't think they cut down again, do they? No, they don't. Wonderful. Pick up the saw as well before I leave it. These need to go around the window. Ah. Yeah. Like so. I think what I'll also do is I'll make some little nooks to go in the corners. If I grab one of those, cut it that way. And then these can go nicely in the corner. And it just squares it off. There. And there. <laughs> Wonderful. That was a muttly laugh, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, ever watch that? Well, we're talking about cartoon shows. What was it? What was it? Was it Road Run? Was it Road Runners? No, it wasn't Road Runners. Catch the Pigeon. That's like the theme tune. Where like, catch the pigeon, catch the pigeon. And then, Wacky Races. That's the one. Wacky Races. I was, it was right on the tip of my tongue. Okay, so glass. So we're going to have to get some orange panes and some green panes. And then we'll put one there, one there, one there. And then the orange one goes like that. Oh, yeah. That's so cool. I really like how we've mixed the Simpsons texture pack with the John Smith's texture pack. So we get some really nice glass. That's really like bar looking glass as well, isn't it? I really, really like that. That's so cool. That worked out so much better than I thought it would. Okay, and then the door goes around here. I'm going to put the door underneath there as well. Oops. I knew I was going to place that wrong then, and yet I still clicked it. <laughs> and then if we get uh, the carpenter's garage doors to go in here, we're going to need a hammer as well, aren't we? Uh, place it there. Oops. Yeah, there and there. And then we got to get the... Oh, I had it there. Hammer. And what colour is it? It's like a dark red. What reds do we have? They're not really dark enough. Okay, what clays do we have? That's pretty close. That purple. That's, I think, as, as close as we're going to get. So we'll put those on there. Oh, that's not bad, actually. That's, that's a good colour. There we go. That goes on there. And then we'll put a little doorknob on it if I can. Can I nick one from somewhere? I could probably nick one from Simpsons house. Also, guys, how do I speed myself up on flying? This is as fast as I can fly. And it doesn't work like on the Vulcan server. That would be the command to make you fly faster. Doesn't do it on here. <laughs> it's not the command. So if you guys know the command to make you fly faster, I would love to hear about it. That looks good. That actually doesn't look that bad, does it? Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, now, that side of Moe's Tavern, there aren't going to be any windows because, obviously, as I said, King Toos is beside it. This side, though, does have a very large window, so we can put that in momentarily. Okay. Nope. Crouch. Oi. There. Got it. <laughs> that looks okay! That's not bad. Now, Moe's does have, like, a little circle window on the door. We can't really put that in. Um... The only thing that I can really think of is by using glass nooks and putting that in. The only trouble with doing that is I don't think you'll be able to then... You might be able to. You know what? Let's have a go. Otherwise, otherwise you guys will uh, complain to me forever. Now, let's get this normal glass. Let's chop this down. We'll give it a try, and then you guys can, uh, can give me some ideas in the comment section below if you think there's a better way to do it. Okay, but I think the only way, if we are going to do it... Oh, you... You really... You really want to play it like that, huh? What if I place it... Nope. Nope. I don't think that'll look any good either. It'd only be those four that... Nah. Nah. No good. 
No good. We can leave it like that. That's absolutely fine. Okay, let me get the other four, or other three, sorry, walls in, and I should be right back. Okay, so I think it turned out pretty square. I will count out for you guys that are building it at home how wide it is. So including this block here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen blocks. That good? Sounds, sounds good to me. Let's put this around the outside here. Do I want that a little one in the corner? I think so. Let's cut this up. Uh, oops, not with a hammer. Hammer doesn't cut things. I don't know if you um, you guys knew that. Uh, if you are a DIY expert, I recommend not trying to cut something with a hammer. You'll probably break it and uh, quite possibly injure yourself as well. So that's my pro tip of the day. Hashtag... Don't cut something with a hammer. <laughs> Hashtag don't cut someone with a hammer. That's great, great life advice. You know, you might one day, one day when you're older, you might be building a shelf for your lovely wife or girlfriend, and uh, or boyfriend maybe, uh, if you're if you're a boy, or you might yeah you might be making it for your boyfriend if you're a girl, and uh, and you might have a shelf that's a little bit too big. And you need to cut it down. If you do need to cut it down, please don't use a hammer. Use a saw. <laughs> we talk about some random stuff here, don't we? Okay, there we go. So that's that outside done around the top. Not quite sure how to do the roof. Um, according to some of the pictures, uh, we're going to do it black on the top. Uh, but there isn't. I suppose it's really up to us. We'll have to see. We'll have to see how it goes. I might just put some like black, really thin black stuff on the top there. And that could work out really, really well. Okay. Over here, there's a big window. Apparently, according to the uh, pictures that I'm looking at. And I've got quite a few pictures, so I'm trusting them. There's a quite a substantially large window here. With the... Let me grab it. Orange and green. Boop. 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 I love that orange and green. I was really concerned that the orange and green wouldn't stand out enough. But it really, really does. It really, really does. Okay, and then we're going to get some grey. And chop this down. Uh, boop. Put another crafting table down. Saves me walking all the way around. Oh, but I left my saw at the other one. <laughs> I'll One day, guys, we won't have to get saws and all of that. I shall be so prepared that I'll just have it all all ready to go. Okay. Left my saw there again. So this is going to be like a little drain that comes down the side. If I can fly up there. There we go. This is the kind of detail I like. This is what I want to be able to do in normal Minecraft. Because it just looks so, so fabulous. Fabulous! Okay. Around the outside of the window here. The car park is where I am currently standing now. Uh, there's not really much in the car park. Um, I suppose I could build a car in here. But from the pictures, I think there's only two. Yeah, there's two. Maybe even one car parking space according to the picture I'm looking at. Uh, you could fit two in, but there's only like um, uh, one concrete bit. Hard to explain. I'm not even going to explain it. It can fit two cars in. That's, <laughs> that's just the easiest way to explain things, isn't it? Okay, so that goes from there. Uh, it also goes around the back as well from what I can tell. So we'll just do it to here for now. Replace oops, grass with stone. Oh, poop. Stone. Wonderful. Oi, you. Yeah, I see you, you piece of dirt. Thank you. And we'll also come around the back as well. I have no idea how far it goes. You never see around the mo back of Moe's, so... We'll just add that, I think. Um, as far as... Like, there's one picture here. Let me just have a look on this picture. Two seconds. Uh, oh, I can't get over there. Okay, don't worry about it then. Can't get over to my other screen. Looks like there's a, a brick wall that seems to be... Well, some pictures it's a light blue. Some pictures it's like a brick colour. So, I think for now we'll probably leave it. Toilets go on the back here. So, what we're going to do is... Now, the toilets... They are at the back here. I think we're going to put in a window there and a window there. Just like single windows on the back there. 
And then, is this a thin one? I think this is a thin one. We'll put these around here. And again, we the fun thing about The Simpsons is that we get to build stuff we know and stuff that we can use reference pictures for, but we also have the opportunity to put our own style on bits where we don't have any reference pictures. You know, I'm going to put another drone, I think, down this side. Um, so we actually get to, to use our own crea creative brains uh, to finish off parts of the building that really have no knowledge. Okay, that looks pretty good though. Again, don't need any windows on this side because King Toots is, is literally attached to the place. Uh, let's get some wool. Boop. Get some wool to go in here where the car park is going to be. So we're going to have one space free and then one, two, three blocks wide for a car. Meaning that we're going to put the space in like that. Maybe another block out. Mm, that always looks a little bit too big on this world, it seems. Do that. Wonderful. And then we'll make a bit of driveway. I don't think you guys have seen me do a driveway with carpenter's blocks yet. So let me show you how I do that. Carpenter's collapsible blocks. We've already got a hammer on us. So we're going to put that down there, that down there. And then what you do is we're going to place these blocks down here. These ones down here. These ones down here. Obviously, these front ones need to be hammered all the way down. <laughs> all the way down to the bottom. Like this. These are great, great little blocks. I love them. Right, the customizability with these. Whoops. Uh -uh. Okay, so then once you've got that, I then hammer this down. I think eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 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 eight. Eight. Okay, so that's flat. And then I think I drop these ones down by four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. They're easy numbers to remember then. Uh, because I spent forever trying to match them up. But then I thought, well, why not keep the numbers simple? And then we get like the best sort of gradient in that we can sort of get out of three blocks do you know what I mean I don't think you can get anything that looks any smoother than this eight and four nice and easy to remember yeah and then you got a like, little uh, driveway that goes up and into it it doesn't look bad it doesn't look bad it's a shame that we can't write Mo's on there I know it is a shame maybe uh, I still want to maybe try and change a couple of the photo uh, pictures frames so maybe we can get a Mo's sign. Maybe we can get a Quickie Mart sign. I don't know. I need to have a look at that. Maybe I can have a look at that between this and next episode. Uh, and then for the top, I think we're just going to cut down some black. I can do that off camera. Cut down some black and put black on top of it. it. It'll just look the neatest. But apart from that, there's nothing really to add to the outside of Mo's. I'm looking at. I'm looking through loads of pictures right now. Obviously, we're going to do the inside next episode. Around the back here, we could put another one of those garbage bins, which I probably will do. I don't think there's an exit on the back of Moe's. Maybe there should be. Maybe we should put one. Do you think? No, I don't think we do. I don't think it needs a back door. But we could put a... Uh, like, if we get that green back again cut this up and make a, another one of those dustbins. We've done it last episode, so I'm not going to do it this episode as well. But I think that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I think that's a success <laughs> successful little Moe's episode. If you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I shall look for a Moe skin as well. And we shall see you in the next episode. Bye! I'll look for a Barney skin as well. Bye!